Good morning, good morning. Our regular scheduled program, study hall, <laughs> uh, is not going to be happening this morning because we've got a an embroidery event going on. But I thought yeah, I got to jump on because yesterday, right before we closed, we got a couple boxes from FedEx. Let's wait for a couple people to jump on here. And it, just in case you have no idea what this is, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to go ahead and flip the camera around and wait for somebody to jump on here. So that if you are on, you're not just staring at a brown box. <laughs> Good morning, Diane. How are you doing today? Let me get to the calendar. So normally we do study hall. 9 a.m. every Saturday morning, um, but we have an embroidery event going on, and a huge pallet came in for the quilt show yesterday, so we're just not able to set up for study hall, but we're getting set up for the event today. So I figured, let me just jump on, touch base with you guys. You're doing okay? Glad to hear that. Um, and, and just give you some updates. So we uh, had an amazing time at Baby Lock Tech. Good morning, Terry. And I posted a handful of videos, um, which was a ton of fun. There was so much information going on that, and things going on that honestly, I don't know if I covered it all. Um, hold on, let me let uh, Carrie in the door here. Good morning. Good morning. Look, everybody, Carrie's here. So, um, but I... I I tried to get as much coverage as humanly possible um, and at the same time try to be somewhat respectful of people's um, space because we were everybody was trying to do the same thing. We were all trying to get to the new machines and talk to the educators and it was a ton of fun. So hopefully you were able to watch some of those videos and hopefully you were able to see something exciting. Uh, good morning, Finn. Good morning, Christy. So, but one of the things... I'll be honest with you, the Radiance was the, the big talk, you know, the new top of the line machine and it did not disappoint. It was absolutely incredible. Now we didn't get to play on it um, as much as we would have liked to. So that was kind of a bummer, but you know what? They're making some changes and it's all for the good. Tacony, Baby Lock, they know what they're doing. So they're releasing it soon, but they're making sure that it's when it comes out, there's no issues and the operating system is on point and everything's awesome. So we're still super excited about the Radiance. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Angelina. Um, but something that they surprised us with, and I'm sure you've probably heard about it by now, is this. Well, let me flip the camera around now that we got some people here so you're not reading it backwards. Oh, it's a brown box. <laughs> so this is the applaud. Um... We got two of them in, one of them's gone, and the other one is still boxed up in the back. So we will do an unboxing, and I'll make sure we do a video and really let you guys see this uh, this thing. But just in case you have no idea what the applaud is, it is a six-thread cover stitch machine that does an incredibly cool new, well, I guess a bunch of new stitches, uh, because it has a patented... Um, feature called the, I always mess it up, I, I think of Maria because she says windshield wipers. <laughs> the wiper uh, mechanism, the wiper feature. Gosh, I got to learn how to describe that better. Hey, Joanne, thank you. Um, so anyway, but, and you it, go and just, you can Google it, but also go to our page. I think we posted some videos and this wiper mechanism really creates this stitch that has never been able to be created before. Let's see if I've got a good sample. Here we go. Look at that. Is that not awesome? This is a little project bag that Maria did at the, at the, uh, baby lock tech there is that not awesome so for those of you that like using cover stitches like doing decorative stitches just to make things spiffy and, and unique this is a machine that i think you want to check out so like i said the first one is already gone but we do have another one and we're going to open it up today so it'll be here in the store so you guys can come and check it out play on it touch it feel it ask questions all that good stuff uh, and then from there, we're going to be getting more in and placing orders. So these things are in stock. How long they'll last, I don't know. But this is an exciting new machine, and, I, and I'm, I'm 
really pumped about it, to be honest with you. I don't do that type of sewing. So for me, I'm excited just to sit down and see what, um, what kind of excitement that I can add to what I do. Um, hey, Becca, good morning. So anyway, Becca, uh, Becca, Becca was awesome. Baby Lock Tech was awesome. The Radiance is amazing. The Applaud is amazing. And they brought out new feet and some new designs. And we met some educators and got some really cool ideas for uh, some events and classes coming up. So hey, Mary, good morning. So I was super excited. Um, it's a lot of information, so I'm still trying to process it all <laughs> and then hopefully implement it in the, in the best possible way. Hey, good morning, Denise. Uh, so that's the plan. That's the, the quick update for Baby Lock Tech. Um, since it is Saturday and we normally do study hall and talk about events and classes, today we are having our second day of our Embrace Embroidery event. Um, yesterday was a lot of fun. Um, people got hands on the entire lineup of the Baby Lock embroidery machines, which was really cool. And um, I can't wait to do it again today. So if you didn't get a chance to sign up, um, or if you're going to be coming today, Denise, we'll see you soon. But if you didn't get a chance to sign up and it's something that you'd like to do, we're going to try to do these things more often. Um, it, it kind of takes a lot of planning and strategic organizing to, to make it successful. But, hey, we're, we're figuring this stuff out. We're getting better at it. Um, so on to the classes. Let's see if there's anything. I don't see Tony jumping on yet. She's probably on her way here that I need to just make sure you guys are aware of. It's September. Like, that's crazy. Good morning, Georgia. I mean, where has the time gone? We've been having fun. That's where it's gone. Um, but September starts other than... So we have Quilt Fest tickets. You guys know all about Quilt Fest. Jacksonville Quilt Show. Uh, September 19th, 20th, and 21st. It's going to be a ton of fun. Um, there are, I don't know, 50-ish vendors. Um, if you buy your ticket early... You can skip the line. You don't have to pay for parking. It's going to be awesome. So good morning, Brenda. So I cannot wait for, for Quilt Fest. I think this year is going to blow. And last year was great, but I think it's going to blow it out of the water. I think we're going to have some fun. Um, I bet you Brenda agrees. So I'm super excited for Quilt Fest. You guys got to come and see us. Uh, you can't miss us. We're going to have like 15 booths. No, <laughs> I think we have like four booths, three booths, something like that. But we're going to bring the AccuQuilt, the Arrow. We're bringing Caterpillar for the first time, which I'm really excited about. Um, and then, of course, we're bringing the Cut Up and Sew booth. But uh, we've got some some really cool kits and, and um, some fun things planned. So I cannot wait. Good morning, Cindy. Um, so let's see. Quilt Fest is this month. So mark your calendars. Get your tickets early. Uh, we have our sewing studio every Monday. We got a lot of new people coming down to, to Florida and Palm Coast area, and they're looking to meet people. And so Monday mornings are a great, or Mondays, not, not mornings necessarily, but Mondays are a great way to kind of meet new sewers, finish up some projects. We're here to help if you uh, are working on something and you have questions. And, and honestly, it's just a great group of ladies um, that uh, have really kind of, it's just grown and it's cool to see they're very welcoming of new people and if people have questions for the most part they don't come and ask us because it gets answered from the group that's in there <laughs> right sam sam knows what i'm talking about good morning sam uh so sewing studio is every single monday we've got sewing 101 on the calendar it's the first tuesday of every month so you beginner sewers if you know any you know i know school started but but younger kids that that are looking to to get into sewing that's usually the day that we try to, to try to point them to um, because they can really get a good grasp of how to use a machine hopefully their machine um, and, and then kind of from there they can once they learn to use their machine then they can take any classes they want good morning hope you enjoyed st louis i did it was awesome i think i'm i think i'm recovered although yesterday we had an event so <laughs> And, and we got another one today, so it's just like, shoo, keep going. Uh, but it was an amazing time. Uh, let's see, anything else super important? I think our classes are pretty much filling up. Tula Pink Club, EPP Club is the first Saturday of every month, so that's coming up soon. Um, and we've got seven clubs, so if you guys are looking, again, for inspiration, to meet some new people, our clubs are a great way to do that. Great way not to only sew, but to make friends. Absolutely. That's what it's about. It's community, right? When we bought the shop, it's going to be three years, November. That's crazy. That's awesome. I said crazy a lot. Um, it, when we bought the shop, one of my first 
goals was to to get the classroom up and running and to get people in here just hanging out because that community that sense of camaraderie is super important um, if not the most important thing um, when you have a local quilt shop you know i mean we want yeah you guys are a huge part of our fam of our well our family but our lives and so we we want to keep people coming in and um hanging out with us and it's awesome you guys are amazing uh, so let's see. I don't think I'm going to go through the calendar today because I do need to run and get, get ready for this event, which I'm super excited for. Um, but I just wanted to jump on and touch base. Uh, so just to recap, St. Louis was absolutely amazing. The radiance is coming soon. We still don't have the dates. Um, those of you that got the limited edition pre-order in, you'll get yours first. So don't worry. <laughs> I know people were panicking, but no, the limited edition folks will get theirs first and then they're going to release the, uh, the new ones. I, I was calling them regular. There is nothing regular about this machine. It is insane, but it's the non-limited edition one. Um, so if you'd like to pre-order one of those, you can still call us and put down a $500 deposit. And then when the non-limited edition ones become available, you can get your name on one of those first. Good morning, Barbara. Um, and then also I talked about the applaud, which we will break out of the box and set up in the shop so you can come and play on it. Um, if you have no idea what the applaud is, it's a six thread cover stitch machine that is just too cool. Too cool for school. Um, and I'm excited to learn on it and play on it. Right, Tony? Yes. Look who's here. Um, I was like, I'm trying to talk about classes, but <laughs> I'm in event mode, y'all. <laughs> But uh, anyway, so I was excited to talk about the applaud. Let them know we got one in stock. The Quilt Fest is coming up, so sign up. Get your tickets soon. I think that's it. I think that's it. So you guys have an amazing day. We will be back Monday morning at 9 a.m. Business as usual. Uh, business as usual. Quilt Talk with Joanne, myself, and Tony. I think that's it. You guys have an amazing weekend, and we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.